everyone. I am so excited to share my very first crafty IGTV video with you. I hope you guys will love it um, because I love putting little simple tutorials together um, that can really add a little extra something um, to what you're working on. These bags I had made before the holidays for a little homemade lip balm that I made. Um, and I thought it would be fun to just decorate a little muslin bag. And so then I figured I would share the tutorial with you. They can be used for um, favors, for product design, for party gifts, really the sky's the limit. Um, there are so many sources available for bags out on the internet at your local craft stores. So definitely get creative. There's so many different sizes. These are just little um, two by three bags. I believe is the final size of these. Um, and they're not very time consuming at all. I made the rubber stamp myself, or sorry, I had the rubber stamp made. This was my design. Um, and then I sourced um, to have exactly what I wanted made. However, go to your local craft stores, find stamps that suit your needs, or I can also link some sources to go ahead and have your own designs transferred onto rubber stamp. Um, the most important thing that you want to do when stamping rubber bags is first iron them. It is a little bit of an annoying, time-consuming step, I'm not going to lie, but it will just make for a cleaner um, stamp all the way around. The second thing you're going to want to do is take a heavy piece of cardstock and fold it so that you can insert it into the bag so that your ink does not bleed through. The other thing that you're going to want, I love VersaFine ink. Again, if you have another favorite that you love, um, that's totally, totally fine. I will link this one. I just happen to really love um, the pigment. It's very saturated um, and just works really, really well. A um, couple things to note when you're stamping the bags. Um, you do not need a lot of pressure. And you can see Parker actually helped me one day and he got a little out of control which is fine, he was learning. Um, so you can see it got a little bit around the edges here, which resulted in, let me show you one of the not so perfect ones right here. So if, you know, perfection and cleanliness is important to you, then you'll just wanna be careful about that. Um, otherwise, go ahead, have at it. Um, so what you wanna do after you iron all of your bags and literally, um, you just want to, you don't have to push really hard. It's just a little, just like you're just literally skimming the surface. Some people even kind of swipe it along the top like that to ensure they're not getting this around the edge. And then once you've got your position that you want, you just press and kind of give it like a little extra push, lift up, and there you go. And because it's fabric, it really does not take long to dry it all. You're pretty much done. So you can kind of blow through these pretty quickly, like I just shared. Um, the other thing you want to do, and I forgot to grab it before I did the video, you can actually get a rubber stamp cleaner, which is really nice to be able to clean this all off so nothing builds up. And then to also, if you want to end up switching colors. So there you have it. I hope you love my video and stay tuned for more.